Hey guys, Scott here. Today I want to talk about one of the core balancing issues in Elden Ring, and it's sort of the issue of multiplicatively stacking damage. If you're not aware of what that means, basically instead of having, you know, a 10% buff and a 10% buff and a 20% buff stacked together to be 40%, you do 1.1 times 1.1 times 1.2, which gives you more like 32 or 33%. Um, doesn't sound so bad when you look at it like that, but because of the amount of little things that add up when you have multiplicatively stacking buffs, it ends up getting exponentially higher and higher damage to the point where you can one shot with half of the ashes of ore in the game. And this is not just a PVP argument as well. This is a PVE argument as, uh, as well. So there are a lot of things you can do to build things where you can trivialize bosses entirely. Um, I'm sure you've seen videos of people killing bosses in two or three hits. Um, this is something that FromSoft also doesn't want. So this is not just a, oh, you PVPers trying to ruin our, our darn single player game. Just let us have our OP stuff. No, even FromSoft doesn't want that. That's why they've nerfed things like Sword of Night and Flame. And um, what else did they nerf? Uh, they nerfed Sword of Night and Flame. They nerfed like Horfrost Stomp, things like that. So they definitely do care about that side of things too. They don't want you to be able to do that much. But the problem is you can do that much with almost everything if you build for it properly. And... So to experiment, for the, basically the past month and a half, I've been using almost every Ash of War in the game uh, for about half a day. And I've been trying to build around it to see if you can one-shot with them. And it turns out you can one-shot with about half of them. You can one-shot players with about half of them. Now, a one-shot I consider 1,900 damage, because that's 60 vigor, before the opponent can react. So something like Glenstone Pebble doesn't immediately do that, but it's a true combo for the full amount. So I consider that a one-shot. And yeah, about half of these in the game, if you build for it properly, you can one-shot with them. So, I mean, like Lion's Claw, absolutely you can do Impaling Thrust and Piercing Fang on a counter hit with Spear Talisman, Just Flame Grant Me Strength, uh, that would be enough. Ash of War, uh, Stamp the Uppercut, not the Sweep, you can absolutely one-shot. Um, Unsheath can one-shot, Square Off can one-shot, Giant Hunt can one-shot, Loretta Slash can one-shot, uh, I mean, Bloody Slash can one-shot, uh, Carrying, or I'm sorry, a Glintstone Pebble can one-shot, like, there's pretty much half of them in the game you, you can one-shot players with if you build for it properly. A common... Uh, thing between them is Shard of Alexander, which I think is a core problem. I think Shard of Alexander needs to be a bit weaker, even if it's just against players. It's the only thing that is in common with every single one of these builds. They all have Shard of Alexander, so um, I think maybe touching that down a little bit might be a, a nice call, because it's so close. Things are just on that value of like doing 1700 damage, just not quite one-shotting people, but then you throw Shard of Alexander on there, and then it does. So it's like, it's just that fine line where it's almost there, uh, and then Shard of Alexander pushes it to ridiculous amounts. But, so for an example, I'm going to go over something now that makes it, I, I want to show you how you can one-shot with basically anything if you just build for it properly. So let's go for something that normally would not one-shot, uh, Impaling Thrust and Piercing Fang. These do kind of like a thousand damage. They're not really going to one-shot people. Um, but if you do a counter hit, which is when you hit somebody in the recovery, they do a lot more damage because they're all piercing attacks. This goes for Giant Hunt as well, but Giant Hunt already does so much damage that it can one-shot regardless. So let's try Impaling Thrust. <clears throat> let's say it's got a base damage of 1,000. Let's say that's an average hit. Uh, so we're going to immediately apply the 30% more damage. Technically, it's 30% less resistance, so the math is not accurate, but I just want to show you how all these things stack. Um, so let's just say it's 1.3. We're at 1,300. Now we're going to multiply that by 1.14 because that's a Spear Talisman. Uh, and now we're going to multiply that by 1.2, which is our single buff, the Flame Grant Me Strength. Um, and already we're at 1778 damage. So right there, you can... <coughs> oh, sorry, you can almost one-shot somebody. Um, let's say we throw one more buff on that. We do that. Ritual Sword Talisman. Now it's a one-shot. So you can kill somebody with one hit like that. Alternatively, instead of that, you can do the Blue Dancer's Talisman which gives you 15% more on a very light equip load, which is typically what you're using with Impaling Thrust. They're not typically giant weapons. You know, we're at 20, you're still one-shotting people. So there's an example of an Ash of War that's not really meant to one-shot, but if you build for it properly on a counter hit, you're going to one-shot. And that's, you know, I had to get creative with a lot of these, and a lot of them I didn't have to do anything. For example, Glenstone Pebble, I didn't have to do anything. I just had a magic claimant's harpoon and just one-shot everybody. Uh, that's pretty much all I did. But a lot of these, you do have to get creative and stack damage. But the fact that that's possible, I think, is one of the core problems with this game. Because I don't think you should be able to really one-shot anybody ever. I think one-shots are just simply a bad mechanic in any game. Unless it's like a 10-second long, giant, big, huge telegraphed attack. Uh, even then, I don't think players should be able to do that. I think NPCs doing that is fine. But, uh, yeah. So I think multiplicatively stacking buffs is one of the main problems with this game. 
and it's like no one's really complaining about the base damage of just r1s and things like that just regular attacks no one's really complaining about that it's just the combination of all these things with ashes of war that makes it seem so wildly imbalanced i mean you can even look at things like just a standard jumping attack let's do a, a jumping attack with a giant crusher um with on a standard you know 80 strength build with a heavy giant crusher you know it's going to do probably a thousand damage on a jumping r2 right it's a huge attack but again you're not going to one shot people with a jumping r2 so let's you know let, let's not even use royal knight's resolve let's just use determination the crappier version of that so determination is going to multiply this by 1.6 and then we have 1.2 for flame grab me strength that's going to be our one buff and then we have let's say the claw talisman since we're doing jumping attacks and then we'll wear the uh raptor's black feather with 2400 damage so it's like there's so many stacking things that you can just get that can make so many things one shot you and i don't think that really should be possible now how do you fix that i'm not really sure short of actually nerfing the base damage of all these things so when you have these multipliers it's not ridiculous it's whatever but the thing is this is the stuff that i was noticing like super early on which is why you know everyone that was like doing research on this noticed like okay damage is super overtuned but people were like well the game is harder people have more health and things like that you know uh bosses have more health and while that's true we already got more damage on our weapons there are higher stat caps things like that so your basic attacks are just simply doing more than older games. So if you're doing that for a comparison, you're still doing more damage. Uh, it's these Ashes of War and all that stuff that when you combine all the stuff that people didn't necessarily know how to do because they didn't know, oh, hey, I can combine this buff with this buff and this buff and this buff and this buff. Now that people are starting to understand that finally, you're starting to realize that things can do way too much damage when you combine all this. And I think that's one of the main problems. How do you fix it? I don't know. I don't think there was any fixing it. I just thought it'd be interesting to talk about. But yeah, I, I was going to make a separate video about which Ashes of War you can one shot with, but I frankly don't have the time of day to do that. It's like 50 of them. <laughs> I, I can't make a video that long. So um, if you want to like check out my past month of streams, you can see me one shotting with pretty much half of these. Um, it's 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 kind of ridiculous how much damage you can get. And the thing is, some of them are so badly balanced where like, you know, without any buffs glintstone pebble will one shot but then you have giant slow attacks like Erdtree tree slam for example that you can't make one shot even though they're 10 times slower and worse it's just this is not even just a, a topic of some like you know multipliers are just not right the base values even are so incredibly broken that there's just no point in taking the game seriously it's whatever um it's why i've drifted back a bit from doing uh, elden ring pvp every day because it's, it's just it's a ridiculous game it's super fun but it's it's ridiculous and not something you can take very seriously. So um, that is it. Just wanted to go over multiplicative buffs and all that stuff. But thanks for watching.